Hi guys, welcome back. Very good evening, all of you. How are you? So I asked you to do problem two, problem three, problem four. Did you do that? Hello, Sandeep. Say hi. Hi, sir. Hmm. Did you do this problem? Yes, sir. Which problem you are able to do? Which you are unable to do? Ah, uh, sir. All problems I did, but don't know whether it's right or not. So problem two, what is the answer you got for part one? Uh, uh, that, average uh, inventory to be carried. Average inventory, sir, I got it as 1,28,000. 1,28,000. Tarani is saying 1,8,800. Okay. So part two, how much you got, guys? Remaining people, how much you got? Can you tell me? Liju also got 1,8,800. How come everybody do same mistake? Uh, 72 days, second yeah, collection 72 period, days, correct days. Okay. So, different, different people got different, different answers. Means what? I have to solve it on the board. Correct? Yes, sir. So, shall we do it? Shall I start doing it on the board? Yes. Chalo. Then, will you help me with numbers? Yes, sir. Okay. Which problem? Problem number two. Okay. Which color pen you want? Uh, black. Black only? Yes, sir. Okay. Shall so, shall we start with problem number two? Yes. Okay. Now, tell me what is sales given? Six lakh forty thousand. What is gross profit ratio given? Fifteen percent. Less gross profit, fifteen percent. Calculate fifteen percent and tell me. Uh, Ninety-six thousand. So tell me cost of goods sold. Um, Five lakh forty-four thousand. Five lakhs. Forty-four thousand. Forty-four thousand. Correct, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Inventory turnover ratio is given in the question. Uh, yes, five times. Inventory turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold by average inventory. Yeah. Is equal to five given. That implies yes, five is equal to five lakh forty four thousand divided by average inventory. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, average inventory is equal to five lakh forty four thousand divided by five. Yes, sir. One lakh eight thousand eight hundred. Answer is forty four thousand. Huh? One lakh eight thousand eight hundred. I cannot cancel five five like this. No, sir. It is against law. Yeah. Okay. So how much it is one lakh? Eight thousand eight hundred. So how many of you got this answer? This is correct answer. I'm like 8,800. Okay, then three. They have given current ratio. Yes, sir. 2.5. Current ratio is equal to current assets by current liabilities. Correct? Huh? Yeah. Current liabilities they have given? Yes, 96,000. That implies current assets by 96,000 is equal to 2.5. Therefore, current assets is equal to can you tell me how much? 2,40,000. Remember, unless otherwise specified, current assets is equal to DSC. What is DSC? Debt plus stock plus cash. Correct. So 2,40,000 is equal to debtors. Is it given? No, sir. Stock given? Uh, stock uh, so just a minute inventory is given nama inventory uh, so just a minute sir yeah inventory is given 48000 48000 okay yes. cash 16000 correct huh? therefore debtors tell me 
This is closing data. Okay. Tell me how much. One lakh seventy six thousand. One lakh seventy six thousand. Correct? Huh? Yes. You understand this? Yes, sir. What they asked in the question? They are asking you what is the average collection period if opening balance is eighty thousand. So opening data yes. is equal to eighty thousand. Can you calculate average data? Yes, sir. One lakh twenty eight thousand. Have you got this? Excellent. Yes. Now tell me, the tax collection period is equal to formula. Uh, number of days divided by uh, the test turnover ratio. Otherwise, also you have one more formula, no? Uh, Average tax by credit sales into three sixty five. Ah uh, yes. Sir. What is average data? One lakh twenty eight thousand. What is credit sales given in the question? Six lakhs forty thousand into three sixty five. Calculate and tell me how much it is. Sir, uh, we took three sixty. No problem. So it will be seventy two days. Yeah, seventy two correct answer. Even in question they asked you to take three sixty only. So correct answer. So how many of you got both part one and part two correct? All of you, please tell me how many of you got correct answers. I got it. I got it. Me, very good. Super. Can we go to next question, ma? If you understand this, type next in the chat box. Then we'll go to next question. Very good. Read third question, ma. Uh, the following information is extracted from the books of Mrs. X Limited. Hmm. Kitty shares of rupees ten each, rupees eight lakhs. Nine percent preference shares, rupees three lakhs. Hmm. Additional information: profit after tax at thirty-five percent, rupees two lakh seventy thousand. Depreciation, rupees sixty thousand. Equity dividend paid twenty percent. Market price of equity shares, rupees forty. You are required to compute the following, showing the necessary workings: hmm. A. Dividend yield on the equity shares. Hmm. B. Cover for preference and equity dividends. Hmm. C. Earnings per share. Hmm. D. Price earnings ratio. Price earnings ratio. Okay, we'll do it. Yes, sir. Okay, problem number three. So they have given profits after tax, sir. Huh? Yes. How much? Two lakh seventy thousand. Minus. Do we know preference dividend? Yeah. What is preference shares? Uh, three lakhs. Into what is dividend ratio? Nine percent. So what is preference dividend rupees? Twenty-seven thousand. So tell me. Earnings to equity shareholders how much? Two lakh forty three thousand. Correct? Huh? Yes, sir. So, guys, everybody, please respond. Till this, you understand? Very good. Very good. Now, dividend per share is equal to. Twenty percent, but this twenty percent is it on EPS or is it on face value? It is not given. So remember one thing: if they say dividend rate, dividend rate, take it on face value. If they say dividend payout rate, then take it on EPS. Is it clear? If they say dividend rate, you have to apply it on face value. Okay, so now you tell me DPS how much? 
Sorry, is it two? Yes, 10 rupees into 20%. Okay, okay. sir. Okay, now calculation of ratio. Serial number, ratio, formula, working, final answer. So prepare a table like this, all of you. One. What is the first ratio asked? Hey. What is the first ratio? Oh, sir, dividend yield on equity shares. Dividend yield ratio. Dividend yield ratio. Formula bolo. Uh, DPS by NPS. Correct. What is DPS? Two. What is MPS? 40. What is ratio? 5%. So everybody understand this? Two. What is second ratio? Um, cover for preference and equity dividends. So preference dividend coverage ratio, equity dividend coverage ratio. So, prefer for equity dividend and preference dividend means you need to calculate preference dividend coverage ratio, equity dividend coverage ratio. Preference dividend coverage ratio. Formula bolo? Um, I don't know, sir. You don't know? Hey, Pat no. by TD. I told you coverage ratio. Coverage ratio. By a source by cost. Yeah. Source by cost. What is the cost? Preference dividend. From where you will pay? Pat. Okay. Tell me, what is Pat? Um, two lakh seventy thousand. Answer is over. Also, still you are thinking. Yes, sir. Two lakh seventy thousand is PAT. PD just now we calculated here PAT no. PD twenty seven thousand. So it is this divided by yeah. ten times. Now equity dividend coverage ratio. PAT minus PD. By equity dividend. What is PAT minus PD? Already you have calculated about 2 lakh. 2 lakh 43,000. What is equity dividend? Can you tell me? Uh, 2 into 80,000. Excellent. Correct. No, 8, 2 rupees per share. Total 80,000 shares are there. So total 1 lakh 60,000. Correct? Yes, sir. Calculate and tell me how much it is. It's uh, 1.51. 1.51. 1. 1. Uh, yes, 1.52. 1.52. Something is wrong with touch screen. So it is behaving very weird. Automatically, something is wrong with touch screen. What's wrong with you guys? Not with you. With this. Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand. Down. That space bar is getting pressed. Uh, here. Okay. Uh, so, what is the next ratio, Ma? We need to calculate the EPS, next na? ratio. Uh, yeah, EPS. Wait one second. Mm. 
tablet mode. So let me see if it works. If it doesn't work, I don't know. Ah, EPS. EPS. Tell me formula. Pat minus PD divided by number of shares. Number of shares. Yes. So Pat minus PD two lakh forty three thousand divided by eighty thousand. So tell me EPS how much? Three point zero three. Three point zero three. Zero three rupees. Fourth one. Ah, uh, price earnings ratio. P ratio. Formula bola. Ah, uh, MPS by EPS. MPS how much? Forty. EPS how much? Three point zero three. Hmm. So that will be thirteen point two. Thirteen point two. Two ah. Uh? Yes sir. Okay. That's all. So guys, do you understand this problem? Can we move to next problem without wasting time? Can we go to next problem? Yes. Read next problem ah. Uh? Sandeep. Okay, sir. Where is next problem? Hmm. Read problem number four. X company has made plans for the next year. It is estimated that the company will employ total assets of rupees eight lakh. Fifty percent of the assets being uh, financed by borrowed capital at an interest cost of eight percent per year. Hmm. The direct costs for the year are estimated at rupees. Four lakh eighty thousand, and all other operating expenses are estimated at rupees eighty thousand. Hmm. The goods will be sold to customers at one fifty percent of the direct cost. Hmm. Tax rate is assumed to be fifty percent. Okay. You are required to calculate one net profit margin, two return on assets, three asset turnover, and four return on owner equity. So all of you read all the the whole problem once. Read the whole problem once, then we'll start doing it. So, guys, tell me, what is direct cost given in the question? Sandeep, what is direct cost given in the question? Is it four lakh eighty thousand? Yes. So, Darani, calculate and tell me what will be sales, which is one fifty percent of four lakh eighty thousand? Seven lakh twenty thousand. Excellent. So, sales minus direct cost will be what? Sales minus the cost. Gross profit. Correct. Sales how much? Four lakh eighty thousand into one fifty percent. Seven lakh twenty thousand. Minus direct cost. Four lakh eighty thousand. So subtract and tell me how much? Two lakh forty thousand. This is gross profit. Two lakh forty thousand minus operating expenses. How much more? Eighty thousand. Two forty minus eighty. Can I write one lakh sixty thousand? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is this one lakh sixty thousand? Operating profit. Excellent. Very good. Many people say this is net profit, but you are right. This is operating profit. Okay, minus. Do we have interest? Yes, sir. How much? Eight percent. Eight percent. Thirty-two thousand. Four lakhs. Correct, sir. Four lakhs. Thirty-two thousand. Yes, sir. So profit before tax. Can you tell me how much? One lakh twenty-eight thousand. Tax rate is given in the question. Fifty percent. So calculate and tell me. 
So this sixty-four thousand is known as fat profit after tax, or this is also known as net profit. Net profit. Okay, this is called income statement. So you can put the heading income statement, and you have to write this. So guys, all of you, do you understand this? Hello, all of you, please let me know. Yes, very good. Now let us calculate the ratios. What is the first ratio asked, ma? Net profit margin ratio. Okay, net profit margin. If it is net profit ratio, we calculate net profit by sales into hundred. If it is net profit margin, normally they calculate EBIT into one minus tax rate divided by sales into hundred. Okay, sorry. Is there any rule? ICI does like that, so we are doing it like this. You can argue no net profit. I'll calculate packed by sales into hundred. You can do that, but ICI will not give you marks. So whatever is ICI answer, we are following it. Okay, what is EBIT ma? One lakh sixty thousand into tax rate. Fifty percent. Divided by, by what is sales? Seven lakh twenty thousand. Into hundred. Can you calculate? Tell me how much it is. Yes, sir. Eleven point one. Correct. So this is our first ratio. Second ratio. What is second ratio, ma? Second ratio. Return on assets. Return on assets. Formula, bolo. EBIT divided by sales into hundred. It may be calculated on PAT also, but whatever ICI does that will follow. So EBIT by sales into hundred. What is EBIT? One lakh sixty thousand divided by what is sales? Divided by assets. Ah, sorry, divided by assets. Assets how much, ma? Eight lakh. Eight lakhs into hundred. How much it is? Twenty percent. Okay, but this is to be calculated. Calculate based on profits after tax. Okay, if you calculate it based on profits after tax, PAT by assets into hundred. What is PAT? Fifty-four thousand. What is assets? Eight lakhs. So what is the answer? Eight percent. This ICI will give you marks. Okay. Some companies, some industries, some countries may follow this also, but we have to follow ICI. You know. Hello. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Sometimes when you are reading some textbooks, na, so there are so many textbooks, big big authors have written. So when you open a prescribed textbook, there can be a different formula. Don't even think for a second which formula should I use. I C I said this formula. This particular author said this formula. Which formula to use? Close your eyes, follow I C I, because finally I C I has to give marks to you. With due respect to all those lecturers. Follow ICI formula. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Now, uh, what is next ratio? <laughs> Asset turnover ratio. Asset turnover ratio. Formula, bolo. Sales divided by assets. What is sales? Seven lakh twenty thousand. What is assets? Divided by eight lakh. What is answer? Zero point nine. What is the next ratio? Return on owner's equity. Return on equity, or this is also known as return on network. Return on equity network are same. So return on equity or return on network. What is the formula? At by net worth into hundred. At we calculated sixty four thousand. 
Now, so many people do not yes, know Pawan sir. Network is not given in question, Pawan sir. Simply, they said total assets eight lakhs. Eight lakhs. In the total assets, fifty percent of the assets are financed by debt. They said that means logically, remaining fifty percent is equity only. Now, so total assets eight lakhs. Total assets means total capital employed. Out of this eight lakhs, fifty percent is debt is equal to four lakhs. That means remaining fifty percent is equity, na? Guys, are you following me? So we'll take four lakhs here into hundred. How much it is, ma? Fifteen percent. That's it. Are we done? You understand it, ma? Yes, sir. So, anyone has a doubt? On return on asset, uh, no pat or is it no pat or just pat? Return on asset calculate based on pat. In ICA material, they calculated on no pat. Check ICA material. If they are calculating on no pat, simple no pat is eighty thousand. Divided by eight lakh into hundred, that will be ten percent. But check ICA material once. Okay, after the class you can check. No problem. If you calculate based on PAT, it will be eight percent. If you calculate based on no PAT, it will be ten percent. After the class, see ICI material. Whatever this, all these are ICI problems. Okay, whatever they do, we'll follow. Okay, can we go to next question without wasting time? Hello, hello, hello. Can we go to next question? Okay. Can you read question number five, ma? Calculate the average collection period from the following details by adopting three sixty days to a year. Okay. Average inventory three six three lakh sixty thousand. Hmm. Gross profit ratio ten percent. Data two lakh thirty thousand. Inventory turnover ratio six times. Hmm. Credit sales to payable sales twenty percent. All of you read the question once again. So from the data given. Can I calculate cost of goods sold? Inventory turnover ratio is equal to do we know it is equal to cost of goods sold by average inventory? Guys, do you know this? Inventory yes, turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold. Inventory turnover ratio six is given. Cost of goods sold we don't know. Average inventory is given in the question. What is average inventory? Three lakh sixty thousand, na? Three lakh sixty thousand. So, can you tell me from this cost of goods sold how much? Twenty one lakh sixty thousand. Twenty one lakhs. Sixty thousand. This is first point. Second point. Gross profit ratio is given. Ten percent. Therefore. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. So sorry. Cost of goods sold is can I say ninety percent of sales? Because sales minus gross profit is equal to cost of goods sold. So if this is ten percent of sales, this should be ninety percent of sales, no? Yes, sir. So cost of goods sold. Which is ninety percent of sales using this two? Can we calculate sales? Is it twenty four lakhs? Yes, sir. Three, three. Credit sales. Is given as twenty percent of total sales. So, can you calculate credit sales? Four lakh eighty thousand. Step four. Data's collection period is equal to. You tell me what is formula. Average data's divided by credit sales into three sixty. Excellent. 
an average rate of so much it is given in the question 2 lakh 2 lakh 30000 divided by 4 lakh 80000 into 360 correct 2 lakh 30000 divided by 4 lakh 80000 into 360 into 360 days how much it is 172.5 172.5 five days yes sir 172.5 days every problem whatever we have done so far is ici examination problem you might feel sir these are easy problems you might feel sir these are difficult problem whatever it is it is icie exam problem but actually in my opinion all these are small basic problems only so are we done with this can we go to next question yes sir lijo can we go to next question six you do homework seven note it as very important put a star mark seven put a star mark lijo read this question ma problem seven Um, global number seven. The following accounting information and financial ratios of PQ are limited. Slowly, slowly. Read slowly. Hmm. Okay. The following accounting information and financial ratios of PQ are limited. Uh, Later the year ended thirty first December two thousand six. Hmm. Uh, gross profit fifteen percentage of sales. Okay. Uh, then uh, net profit eight percentage of sales. Hmm. raw material consumed 20% of work cost uh, they have given 20% of works cost 10% of works cost and all no so that is not works cost that is cost of goods sold originally there was a printing mistake in icai book later they revised it now if you look at latest textbook cost of goods sold only will be there even in the book i have given to you it will be 20% of cogs 10% of cogs 6% of cogs only will be there Okay, please make a note. So it is twenty percent of cost of goods sold. Continue. Okay, uh, direct wages ten percent of cost of goods sold. Mm. Stock of raw material uh, three month usage. Mm. Uh, stock of finished goods six percent of work cost. Six percent of cost of goods sold. Okay, sorry. Mm. Uh, Deb collection period sixty days. Mm. All sales are on credit. Okay, then uh, financial ratios. Mm. Fixed asset to sales is equal to one is to three. Mm. Fixed asset to current asset is equal to thirteen is to eleven. Mm. Uh, current ratio is equal to two is to one. Mm. Long term loans to current liability is equal to uh, two is to one. Capital reserves and surplus one is to four. If value of fixed assets are uh, as on thirty first December two thousand five amounted to twenty six lakh, uh, prepare a summarized profit and loss account of the company. Um, Sorry, uh, prepare us uh, of the year under thirty first December. Also, the balance sheet has on thirty first December two thousand six. So you need to prepare P and L balance sheet, correct? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Now they have given fixed assets twenty six lakhs, correct? Huh? So you need yes. to prepare balance sheet P and L for thirty first December two thousand six. But fixed assets given are thirty first December two thousand five. Now you tell me, did they speak anything about depreciation mm -hmm. in the whole problem? Did they speak anything about depreciation? No. 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 That means they are speaking about gross block concept. Gross fixed assets they are speaking. If it is gross fixed assets, year to year there won't be any change unless you buy new one or sell existing one. So we take. Closing fixed assets twenty six. Now, look at the first financial ratio. Fixed assets to sale one is to three. You know already fixed assets. So can we calculate sales? Yes. Okay. Important model, ma. All of you, please listen carefully. Problem number seven. All of you. Okay. Please look carefully. Seven. In that point number one, fixed assets by sales. Is equal to one by three. That implies fixed assets. Fixed assets already given, no? Twenty-six lakh. That implies twenty-six lakh. Six lakhs into three. 
by sales is equal to 1 by 3. So by way of cross multiplication, sales is equal to 26 lakhs into 3. 78 lakhs. All of you understand this? 78 lakhs. Very good. What is the next ratio, ma? financial ratio? Uh, fixed asset to current asset ratio. Fixed asset by current asset. How much? Uh, 26 lakhs. No, no. What is the ratio given? Uh, ratio... Uh, Thirteen is to eleven. Thirteen is to eleven. Correct, ma'am. Yeah, thirteen is to eleven. Thirteen is to eleven. That implies, can I say, current assets is equal to fixed assets into eleven by thirteen? That is equal to fixed assets twenty six lakhs into eleven by thirteen. So, can I say that is equal to twenty two lakhs? So here sales 78 lakhs, current assets 22 lakhs. You understand this? Yeah. Hello, everybody, please respond. Okay, very good. So what is the next ratio given in the question? Current asset to current liability. Current assets to current liability. How much? Wow. One is to two, I think. One is to two or two is to one? Sorry, uh, two is to one. Current ratio, two is to one. That implies yeah. current assets is equal to two into current liabilities or current liabilities is equal to current assets into half. Yeah. 11 lakh. Therefore, can it can I say current liabilities is equal to eleven lakhs? Okay, what is the next ratio? Uh, uh, the long term loan. Long term loans to current liability is equal to two. So long term yes. loans is equal to current liability into two. Current liability, you know, eleven lakhs. Twenty two lakhs. Therefore, long term loan is equal to. 22 lakhs. 22 lakhs. Correct? Huh? Now, look here. I am preparing one dummy balance sheet, a rough balance sheet. Do you know fixed assets? Yes. Do you know current assets? Yes. Do you know total assets? Yeah. If total assets is 48, total liabilities? 48. So, till this, you understand everything? Now, here, equity will be there. Long term loans will be there, current liability will be there. Yes. Current liability no, like 11 that. already we calculated, long term 22 already we calculated. This is balancing figure. Mm, 26, 40, uh, 15 lakhs. 15 lakhs. Even <coughs> like basic accounting equation also. What is basic accounting equation? You remember basic total accounting asset. equation? Total asset minus outside liabilities is equal to capital. Outside limit. Hello, is this clear? Okay, now go back to the question. Go back to the question. Capital to reserves and surplus is 1 is to 4. So in this net worth, in this equity, equity means net worth. So in this 15 lakhs, two parts are there. So total equity or net worth is equal to 15 lakhs. In this, equity component is there, reserves component is there. Equity is nothing but capital. Okay. In this equity, what is the ratio given? 1 is to 4. Huh? Yes. So, divide 15 lakhs in 1 is to 4 and tell me how much? 3 lakhs. Equity how much? Capital. Hmm, capital or equity? Same. How much? 3 lakhs. Three lakhs. Reserves how much? 12 lakhs. That's all. So yeah. if you look at the question, we are done with the second part. That means financial ratios. After that, we did everything. Now what we are supposed to do? First part, P and L part. 
so financial ratios is given to prepare balance sheet accounting information above that is given for p and l so shall we do p and l well yeah ah bolo so tell me sales how much 78 lakhs so you need to continue working numbers okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that are, we are giving na that is 4 this is 5 next one will be 6 6 sales how much ma 15 less gross profit ratio is given how much 15 percentage calculate 15 percentage uh, 11 lakh 70000 11 lakh 70000 calculate cost of goods sold mm, 66 lakh 30000 correct huh? what is the next information given net profit is given mm. sales into what is net profit ratio Six percent, eight percent, eight percent is equal to net profit. Uh, tell me net profit how much? Six lakh twenty four thousand. This is net profit. What is the next ratio? Raw material currency. Next ratio, ma'am. Uh, raw material consumed. Raw material consumed. How much? What is the percentage? Twenty percentage of our goal. Twenty percent of cost of goods sold. Okay. So yeah. apply twenty percent on cost of goods sold. Sixty-six lakh thirty thousand into twenty percent. Thirteen lakh twenty thousand. Thirteen lakhs. Twenty thousand. Are you sure? 26,000, 13 lakhs, 26,000. 13 lakhs, 26,000. Why do you think I stopped writing and I asked? Next, wages. 10% of cost of goods sold. Huh? Yes. Can I write 6 lakh 63,000? Yes. What is the next ratio? Stock of raw material. Closing stock of raw materials. Tell me how much? Is equal to closing stock of raw material. How much given now? Mm. Thirty lakh twenty six thousand. I think. Four, they have four, given stock months. of raw materials three months usage. Put uh -huh. a star mark. Stock of raw materials is equal to three months usage. Now raw material consumed is thirteen lakhs twenty six thousand. Na? Yes, into three months. This two. is consumed in one day or one month or six months or full year. Three months. Old. No, full year raw material consumption. This is okay. twelve months consumption. So three months, how much? That is closing stock. Okay. You understand? Raw material consumption is always for full year. Okay. So, so closing stock of raw materials, tell me how much? Uh, 3,31,500. Even this you can remember as a formula also. Closing stock of raw materials is equal to raw material consumed into raw material holding period divided by 12 or 365 as the case may be. If, if, if numerator is in months, denominator will be 12. If numerator is in days, denominator 365. This is formula. Closing stock of raw materials is equal to raw material consumed into holding period by 12. 
okay now what is the next point closing stock of finished goods hmm. is equal to 6% of cost of goods sold sales sir cost of goods sold uh, what is cost of goods sold already we know yeah 6 lakh 63000 no 66 lakh 30000 re ah uh, sorry ah uh, 66 lakh uh-huh. tell me how much it is uh 3 lakh 97 800 relax 97 800 correct any other information is given in the question or we are done with all the information uh, anything doctor, else we need to do doctor right anything else we need to do debt collection period 60 days we know that debt ars is equal to credit okay. sales into debt collection period divided by 360 that implies what is credit sales 7 lakh 80 eh? crores 78 lakhs re re are you sleepy ah sorry sorry numbers why always you are reducing zero if you get 80 marks in this subject 80 I say will give you eight. Will you agree? Okay. No, na. Yeah. Uh, tell me, seventy-eight lakhs into sixty by three sixty. Either you can take three sixty or you can take three sixty-five. I say has taken three sixty-five. You can take three sixty also. No problem. How much it is? Thirteen. Thirteen lakhs. Thirteen lakhs. okay anything else no c i is equal to d plus s plus c what is this current current assets account current account current assets is equal to debtors plus debtors stock plus stock plus cash cash here in this problem how many stocks are there Two stocks are there. Closing stock of raw material is there. Closing stock of finished goods is there. Both of them are stocks only, no? Yes. Okay. So twenty-two lakhs is equal to that are thirteen lakhs plus stock of raw material. How much more? Three lakhs. Three lakh thirty-one five hundred plus stock of finished goods. How much? Three lakh ninety-seven eight hundred. Three lakh ninety-seven eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't know. Plus cash. So now calculate cash. Therefore, cash is equal to. Tell me how much is cash? Uh. One lakh seventy thousand seven hundred. One lakh seventy thousand seven hundred. Seventy thousand seven hundred. Seven hundred, correct. Now we will prepare profit and loss account. Trading P and L. What is this? This is trading and P and L account. Okay. Now tell me, two raw material. You need to write it properly. Okay. Particulars, rupees, particulars, rupees, debit, credit, trading and P and L account. Half so and so entity for the year ending thirty first December two thousand six. You need to write properly. Otherwise, you will not get marks. To raw material consumed, how much, ma? Thirteen lakh twenty six thousand. Okay. To wages, how much? Six lakh sixty three thousand. To our okay. By sales, how much? Um, seventy eight lakhs. To net profit, how much? Profit is calculated. Six lakh twenty-four. No, no, gross. Sorry, sorry. Here, gross profit. 
Yeah. Eleven lakhs. Uh, gross profit uh, seven lakhs seventy. Already we have calculated eleven lakhs something you told na. First working note ma in P and L. Yeah. It is eleven lakhs seventy thousand. Yeah. Mm, that unit right here. Seventy-eight lakhs. This said seventy-eight lakhs. This said. Okay. Now tell me, is there any balance in figure? Two expenses, manufacturing expenses, balancing figure. Tell me how much. One guy is saying forty six lakhs forty one thousand. Is it right? Please confirm. Is it forty six lakhs forty one thousand? Yes. Okay. No. By gross profit, draw <laughs> down eleven lakh seventy thousand. Net profit. Do we know net profit? Hey, do we know net profit? Yeah, yeah. Six lakh twenty-four. How much? Six lakh twenty-four. So, is there any balancing figure? Operating expenses. How much? Five lakhs. Forty-six thousand. That's all. P and L is over. Correct, ma'am. Huh? So, shall we prepare balance sheet? You need to put proper headings. Balance sheet of so and so entity, so and so person, so and so period, as on so and so. Then liabilities, rupees, assets, rupees. Why it is not writing? All colors are writing. Why the rainbow color is not writing? That also should write, no? Logically. Sir, why you waste of time, sir? Correct. So we'll put our balance sheet here. Hmm. Tell me, capital how much? Three lakh. Number B. How much? What? Surplus. Capital? How much, ma? Three lakhs. Correct. Reserves? Total lakhs. Long-term loans? Long-term loans. <coughs> Twenty-two lakhs. Current liabilities? Eleven lakhs. Total? Forty-eight lakhs. Hmm. This side fixed assets. Twenty-six lakh. Current assets. How much debt is? Current assets twenty-two lakhs. You cannot write full number. Yeah. You need to drop down current assets in that data. Stock of raw materials. Stock of finished goods. Cash. You need to write separately. So, debt are so much. Can I write thirteen lakhs? Yes. Raw material, three lakh. Thirty one five hundred. Finished goods, thirty nine. Three lakh ninety seven eight hundred. So total forty. So this problem is over. Yes. Hey, this problem is over, Arun. One student has a stomach pain now. What is that stomach pain? You know, sir, sir. 
closing stack is there in the questions sir in a p and l account you have not taken a by closing stack sir problem is wrong sir you don't have brain sir sorry sir do we have closing stack in the question yes closing stack of raw material is there closing stack of finished goods is there but when i prepared p and l where is closing stock so do you think my answer whatever i have written is wrong darani madam no why no <laughs> sorry you will not do mistakes sir yes sir <laughs> i appreciate it i like it but the reality is i have done so many mistakes in my life you might not have even imagine that pavan can do that kind of mistakes that to big mistakes i have done in life but now you might solve this problem many times yes you tell me why i have not taken closing stock no no sir okay opening stock tell one favorite number your favorite number favorite number hmm one number Tell small number, ma. Ten, fifteen, twenty, like that. Ten. Opening stock, ten. Okay. Opening stock of raw material, ten. Okay. Purchases. <laughs> number. Any number. Five. How much? Fifteen. Little bigger. Maybe around hundred or 20. more than hundred. Huh? Okay, hundred. Closing stock. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Now calculate. Calculate raw material consumption. Ninety-five. Is equal to opening stock. Add purchases minus closing stock is equal to ninety-five. Correct? Yes, sir. When I prepare my trading account. In trading account, if I write two raw material consumed ninety five, you tell me, do I need to write opening stock, closing stock? No. No, that is what I have done here. Okay, sir. So raw material consumed, I have written. <laughs> that means raw material consumed is already adjusted with opening stock, closing stock purchases, no? Yes, sir. Now you understand why I have not written closing stock. That means closing yes, stock yes. is already adjusted. Okay, now Chintu will get one doubt. Sir, sir, raw material okay. Finished good is there, no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So here closing stock of raw material okay. Because we have taken raw material consumed, this is not required. Yes, sir. What about closing stock of finished good? Mm. Raw material consumed, wages, manufacturing expenses put together. What is this called? Cost of goods. Correct. Yes, wages and production expenses, manufacturing expenses put together, we call it cost of goods sold. Sales minus cost of goods sold. Now, opening stock of finished goods take say ten rupees. Then, opening stock of finished goods ten rupees. Then, hmm, purchases. Or production. This can be production also. Purchases or production say hundred. Closing stock of finished goods is equal to say thirty. Now calculate cost of goods sold. Opening stock, add 80. production or purchases minus closing stock is equal to eighty. If I prepare my trading account, in my trading account, if I write two cost of goods sold eighty. Do I need to write opening stock, closing stock of finished goods? No. No. So I have taken already cost of goods sold on the debit side. No. Yes, sir. Your cost of goods sold I have taken on the debit side. Yes, sir. You understand the logic now? Yes, sir. 
99% of students do not understand this problem. Are we clear? Everybody in the class, do you understand this problem? The only crux of this problem is why are we not taking closing stocks in p &L, trading p &L? Because already the debit side numbers are adjusted with closing stock. Debit side numbers are already adjusted. So you don't need to take it. If you understand this, type U in the chat box. How many U's will come based on that? We'll go to the next question. Uh -huh. One U, two U, three U, four U. U, 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 many U's. Sir, so can you explain once again what you explained right now that finished goods closing stock? Opening stock of finished goods is equal to say 10. Okay. Purchase of finished goods or production of finished goods is say 100. Closing stock of finished goods is say 30. Now you tell me what is cost of goods sold? 80, sir. 80. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Now, in my trading account, if I take two cost of goods sold 80, do I need to take buy closing stock? No, sir. No, I should not. Okay. Now, what is cost of goods sold? Material, wages, production expenses. Yes, sir. Now, in this p &L, if you observe, already material, wages and production expenses are debited. No. Yes, sir. So, where is this? Uh, here, look at it. Material you have taken, labor you have taken, production expenses you have taken. This is cost of goods sold. Because cost of goods sold is already taken on the debit side, you don't need to write closing stock on the credit side. Okay, sir. I understood. Understood? Yes, sir. I will tell you one secret. Yes, sir. You should not tell anyone. No, sir. Pinky promise. Yes, Pinky. Promise. This secret should die between you and I. Okay, sir. Okay. Ask all the other students to close their ears. <laughs> Everybody close your ears. Uh, now, first time whatever I explained, <laughs> when you ask in doubt. I did not tell one letter also new. Rewind, play, same number, same explanation I did. Uh, sir, I, like uh, for the other thing also, it was similar, right? For the raw material consumption. So I thought uh, I missed something. <laughs> no, you did not miss anything. So what I meant to say is, first time probably you did not pay the attention. Otherwise, second time when I repeated same thing, you have to get the same doubt again. Hello, anyway, no psychological fight. Let me tell you one thing. Opening stock, add purchases, minus closing stock is equal to what? You tell me, is it raw material consumed or is it cost of goods sold? Uh, So, guys, tell me, one is right or two is right? No one is answering. Guys, tell me, first equation is correct or second equation is correct? Both are correct. If we take opening stock and closing stock of raw material, first one is correct. and then... Excellent. For trading concern, Second one is correct. For manufacturing concern, first one is correct. Why? Because purchase of raw material will be done by manufacturer. Purchase of finished good will be done by trader. Are we clear? If I am manufacturer, I buy raw material, I produce finished good. If I am trader, I buy finished good, I sell finished good. Are we clear so far? 
Yes, sir. Do you want to see what is there on my table? Shall I show you one secret? Hello, madam. You want to see one secret? This yes, sir. is uh, my camera stand. First, I have put the camera on this. Then it is moving this side, that side. Then I have put it on book. What is this, madam? Time. Victim? Uh, if you are a trader, will you manufacture this pickle or will you buy pickle from wholesaler and sell in retail? Buy and sell. If you are a trader, you buy and sell. Correct? Then purchases means finished good for you. So in case of a trading concern, opening stock, add purchases, minus closing stock will always give you cost of goods sold. That is the reason you ask any foundation student, see a foundation CPT student. He will tell uh, first equation is wrong. Second equation is right. Because in accounts, he learn only about trader. He will not learn about the manufacturer. When you come to costing, then for the first time you will think from manufacturer point of view, then you realize, oh my God, this is also correct. So if you take opening stock of raw material, purchase of raw material, closing stock of raw material, you will get raw material consumer. Alternatively, if you take opening stock of finished good, then if you take purchase of finished good or production of finished good, then if you subtract closing stock of finished good, you will get a cost of goods sold. Now you will get, no, if it is raw material, you will get raw material consumed. If it is finished good, you will get cost of goods sold. Now, there will be some entities, there will be some entities who will do both. I will manufacture and sell some products. I will buy and sell some products. For them, both equations will be there. You understand? So, why I have not taken closing stock of raw material in trading account? Because of this logic. Why I have not taken closing stock of finished goods in trading account because of this logic. That's all. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. Can we continue? Hello, everybody. Please let me know in the chat box. Are we clear? Super. So go to the next problem. Don't waste time. Madam, read the problem first. Problem number eight. Hmm. Read the problem. Problem number eight. Uh, from the following information hmm. relating to Vice Limited, you are required to prepare a summarized balance sheet. Current ratio to uh, two point five. Uh, gross profit by sales ratio point two. Uh, sales by net fixed assets ratio 2, uh, sales by debtors ratio 6, stock velocity months Wait, two. what is stock velocity 2 months? Inventory turnover. Inventory? Uh, holding period. Excellent. Correct. If it is months, holding period. If it is number of times, then it is turnover. Mm. Hmm. Net worth uh, by long-term loan ratio 20. Hmm. Uh, asset test ratio uh, 1.5, net working capital by net worth 0.3, sales by net worth ratio 1.5, uh, reserves by capital ratio 1, paid up share capital 10 lakh. Simple. We are not going to solve this problem. This I will give homework. You tell me how will you solve this question. Paid up capital 10 lakhs is there. Above that reserves to paid up capital, one is there. That means if paid up capital is 10 lakhs, reserves are also 10 lakhs only, no? Reserves by capital is equal to one. So reserves is equal to capital. Yes, sir. So can I say paid up capital 10, 
reserve strength. So net worth is equal to twenty. Yes, sir. Everybody understanding? Hello. Yes. Next. Net worth twenty we calculated in the above line. Sales by net worth one point five. Net worth twenty, you know. Net worth twenty, you know. Now you tell me sales. I don't know. Thirty lakhs. Correct. Sales thirty lakhs. Next. Net working capital by net worth zero point three. Net working capital by net worth zero point three. Okay. In that already you know net worth. So can you tell me net working capital? Six lakhs. Excellent. Net working capital six lakhs. Okay. Let us solve this problem. Okay. The kind of response you are giving, I am getting panic attacks. Whether you are understanding or no. One capital by reserves is equal to one. Therefore, capital is equal to reserves. That implies capital is equal to reserves is equal to ten lakhs each. Okay. Two net worth is equal to capital plus reserves is equal to twenty lakhs. Three. Sales is equal to what they have given in the question. Sales is equal to net worth into one point five. Sales is equal to net worth into one point five. Is equal to thirty lakhs. Four net working capital is equal to net working capital is equal to they have given what they have given. Net working capital by net worth is equal to zero point three. Is equal to net worth into zero point three. That is equal to six lakhs. Five current ratio is equal to current assets by current liabilities is equal to how much, ma? Current ratio. Tell me how much. Two point five is two point five. Very good. Two point five. Now all of you look here. Why I wanted to tell you? Why I wanted to explain this problem is because of this. Why this highlighter is not working? I don't know, and I don't want to waste time also. Okay. Highlighter is not working. My rainbow color is not working. Why? Why? Must be working. Cheating it is. Same sky blue. No, but previously it is not sky blue, na ma. Oh, now it is green. Why it is not working? Okay. Now, chalo. Anyway. This is very important step. Okay, in many problems we use this. Current ratio is equal to current assets minus current liabilities is equal to two point five. Net working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities is equal to six lakhs. From first equation, can I write current assets is equal to two point five current liabilities? This yes. current assets is equal to two point five current liabilities. Can I substitute here? It will become two point five current liabilities minus current liabilities is equal to six lakhs. Therefore, one point five current liabilities is equal to six lakhs. Therefore, current liabilities is equal to six lakhs by one point five. That is equal to four lakhs. Okay. Therefore. Current assets is equal to four lakhs into. I will substitute this again in this equation. Four lakhs into two point five. That implies current assets is equal to ten lakhs. 
again i will cross verify current asset is 10 lakhs current liability 4 lakhs what is networking capital 6 lakhs that is what is given so our answer is correct this step will do in many problems in many problems we solve this so guys do you understand this step when current assets are given um, when current ratio is given when networking capital is given this is how we calculate current assets current liabilities okay next what is the next step ma what is the next step networking sure, capital uh, so we already know sales correct so gross profit is given tell me sales to gross profit how much so i did not see huh I did not see here sales to gross profit ratio how much more? Sir, I did not see sales to gross profit twenty percent. Ah? Yes, sir. What is given in the problem? Ah, huh? zero point two means twenty percent. Therefore, sales already we know thirty lakhs. So tell me, gross profit is equal to? Can I say six lakhs? Yes, sir. Hey, what's wrong? Simple calculation: sales to gross profit ratio twenty percent. Sales we calculated thirty lakhs. Therefore, gross profit six lakhs only, no? Yes, sir. Guys, everybody understand this? One school is there next to my house. Okay. Oh, much of noise there, my king. See. So wherever you go, school kids are school kids only. Huh. Tell me, what is the next ratio? Net profit ratio. Ah, asset test ratio is also. Correct. Asset test ratio we'll use. Just give me one second. Asset test ratio we'll use. Before that, sales, sales by net fixed asset ratio. Ah, uh, two sales by net fixed assets. Sales by fixed assets is equal to two. Can you tell me fixed assets? Fifteen lakhs. Very good. Fixed assets, fifteen lakhs. So, what is the next item? Sales by debtors ratio. Sales by debtors six. So, debtors yes. equal to five lakhs. Huh? But... Sales by debtors is equal to six. Ah, yes, sir, five lakhs. Therefore, debtors is equal to five lakhs. What is the next ratio? Stock velocity two months. Okay, L net worth by long term loan twenty. First, we'll do that. Net worth by long term loan is equal to twenty. Net worth is twenty lakhs. By long term loan is equal to twenty. Therefore, tell me, long term loan is equal to how much? Oh, hello, madam. Yes, sir. You understand it? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Sure, sir. Explain this point. Net worth divided by long term loan. Net worth we point? already know. Hmm. Uh, so. Twenty lakhs divided by long term loan equal to twenty. So twenty lakhs divided by twenty long term loan is one lakh. Correct. Okay. Now we need to calculate stock. Stock can be calculated either using asset test ratio or by using stock velocity. There are two ways. Hello, madam. Which way you want, madam? 
anything sir i will tell both okay sir but if you do one way you don't need to do second way okay sir. now what is acid test ratio is equal to can i say current assets minus stock by current liabilities yes sir current uh, acid test ratio how much is given in the question 1.5 yes sir current assets current assets calculated we calculated above we used uh, the 10 lakhs net working capital is equal to 6 lakhs current ratio 2.5 using that i have explained you current assets 10 lakhs came yes sir minus stock by current liability how much 4 lakhs ah uh, can you calculate stock yes sir 4 lakh into 1.5 is 6 lakhs 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 so stock is four equal lakhs. to 4 yes sir okay this is one approach another approach is stock velocity what is stock velocity stock velocity is equal to 2 months which is nothing but inventory holding period what is inventory holding period cost of goods sold so can i write stock is equal to cost of goods sold into inventory holding period divided by 360 this is the formula stock is equal to cost of goods sold into inventory holding period divided by 360 now cost of goods sold already we calculated sales 30 lakhs gross profit 6 lakhs in the problem we calculated sales 30 lakhs and we calculated gross profit 6 lakhs so you tell me cost of goods sold how much 24 lakhs 20 4 lakhs into inventory holding period how much is given 2 months uh, if it is months we will take 12 here if it yes, is sir. days we will take 360 so 2 by 12 4 lakhs same yes sir you understand it yes sir so is anything left or did we do all the lines of the problem we have done everything now they are asking us to prepare balance sheet shall we prepare yes sir balance sheet okay capital how much hello capital 10 lakhs reserves reserves and surplus 10 lakhs long term loan um loan you have explained that point to me you remember <laughs> yes sir how much 1 lakh next current liabilities 4 lakhs total 25 lakhs yes sir fixed assets I will not write. Oh, madam. Yes, sir. Sales <laughs> fifteen. Sales thirty lakhs. Fixed assets are half of sales, so fixed assets fifteen lakhs. We calculated already, and you sure. forgot. Fixed assets fifteen lakhs. Okay. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, then what next? Current asset ten lakhs. Right, step by step. Uh, if okay, you get current asset ten lakhs, ICI will not give full marks. Debtors, stock, cash. Okay, you have to write one more point also. C I is equal to D plus S plus C. Ten lakhs is equal to debt are calculated five lakhs. Stock you calculated four lakhs plus cash. Can I say cash is equal to one lakh? Yes, sir. So that you need to put here. Debt are five lakhs. Stock four lakhs. Cash one lakh. Therefore, this is the balance sheet of Wise Limited. 
You understand? Yes, sir. Padam Dishum. Okay, guys, tell me how many of you understand this problem? Very good. Super. Okay, are we done for the day? Okay, so, so guys, you solve all the other problems. There are many other problems. You solve all the other problems. In the next class, I will see your answers. We will review and there are two models which I need to explain, which I need to explain. Two models you cannot do. Other than the two models, all the other problems you'll be able to do. That two models, I will teach completely. In the remaining problems, whatever you have not understood, whatever you are unable to do, that I'll do. We'll review problems and the two models I'll teach you. Then we'll go to new chapter. Okay, so are we done for the day? Thank you so much. Good night. Bye-bye. See you in the next class. So, bye.